globes, lamps and bulbs come in various sizes, from the tiny little ones that we put in our torches, you've seen those before many times, to the larger ones that we use in our home, and some of these have clear glass, others have frosted glass. There are other special lamps which we use in television studios, like this large one. The, the ones you use in the home may be 60 watt or 100 watt, but this one's 2,000 watts. But still, it's basically the same, isn't it? Metal filament in the centre, glass jacket around the outside, metal base. Here's another 2,000 watt lamp from a television studio. And they come in even larger sizes. Here is a 5,000 watt lamp from a television studio, larger than my hands. Still, it's basically the same. Filaments in the centre, glass jacket on the outside, metal pins at the base. Each of them is an incandescent lamp, bulb or globe. But how does it work? One part of it is absolutely vital, and that's the centre part, the filament. The filament of a lamp is very much like the element of a radiator, an electric radiator. Electricity is passed through the element, and as you know, it glows, it gives off light. But that's not the vitally important part for a radiator. The, the important part there is the heat. But with a lamp, the important thing is the light. And so there's one problem immediately. If you pass electricity through a piece of wire, you're going to get some heat as well as light. And there's another problem too. If you, pa if you heat up very thin wire, something else may occur. Let's take some very thin wire as in a piece of steel wool. We take a tuft of this, the easiest way to heat it up, one way to heat it up would be to pass electricity through some strands, but there's an easier way of heating it up, isn't there? And that's to uh, set fire to it with a match. Steel wool, you think it'll burn? Let's see. It does. Actually, it's giving out heat and light right now. But how long will it last? Not very long at all. In fact, within a few seconds, the heat and the light diminish until it's just a mass of grey, twisted material. In fact, what's happened is that the steel has burnt because the air all around us is reacting with the steel, with the iron and the steel, and it's changing into new substances. But it's no, it's no use anymore for giving us light. That's the problem that you get with the tiny little thin filaments in a lamp. In fact, we're going to see just how important that glass jacket is. Here's a little torch that I showed you a few weeks ago. Do you remember that? Simple battery. Um, it's a piece of aluminium foil, strip of aluminium foil going from the base, held in place with a rubber band, up to the top. A globe, torch globe, is held in place by that rubber band. To switch it on, we simply press that metal strip, that aluminium strip, and on comes the lamp, because electricity is now passing through the filament, and it glows, red hot, white hot, in fact. But how important is the glass jacket? Well, let's take out our globe, and see if we can remove the glass jacket. Now to do this, you'll have to be very, very careful. I'm going to place it over a container here. I'll put a piece of paper tissue over the edge of it like that, and then very carefully, I'm going to crush it with a pair of pliers, like this. Now I'm going to hope that I didn't break the filament. When I open it, I'll find out. Yes, in fact, the filament is still intact tiny little thin piece of coiled wire. Now I'm going to place it back in our torch, like this. Lift up the rubber band, and if you're doing this at home, you'll have to be very, very careful, because the edges may be sharp. Lift it up like that, put it back in place. Now we can test it and see if it'll still work. You think it'll still work, even though the glass jacket has gone? Well, let's see what happens. Watch that filament. Are you ready? It glowed for just a second or two, but you can probably see smoke drifting up, and in fact, now it's burnt right out, just like the steel wall. In fact, the glass jacket is there for a very important reason, and that is to enclose the filament in a gas that won't support burning. It's usually nitrogen, or it can be other gases as well. So the three things of an incandescent lamp or globe are vitally important. The filament itself, electricity passes through that, it glows, gives off light and a bit of heat. The metal base, of course, is important so that electricity can be passed up to that filament and through it. And the glass jacket is also vitally important because it surrounds the filament and encloses it in a gas that prevents burning out of the filament, or at least it stops it happening for a long time. So that's how an incandescent lamp works. 
If you sew, crochet or knit, you need dot pattern. Why waste your money on paper patterns and ready-made clothes when you can make custom fitting patterns by using only two measurements and you could save hundreds of dollars on the latest fashions? It's unbelievably easy and you could become your own fashion designer. Dot pattern, just eight dollars. Also inquire about children's dot pattern. I want to know. Curiosity.